UndergroundHipHop.com, Super Rock and DJ on and on. The stars keep rolling through UndergroundHipHop.com headquarters. Of course, right about now, the new album selling extremely well. The artiste Bisque One is in effect. Thanks for being on UndergroundHipHop.com. Thank you, man. And you're an old friend of ours. Of course, you blessed us on uh, Wednesday Night Live and all that. Yeah, you blessed me to come through. But yeah, you know, we, we, you know I appreciate that. Man. Now, you wear uh, several hats. Let's talk about first the uh, artiste in the literal form, Bisque One. What do you have going on with the art thing? The visual side of things, um, I do a lot of record covers. I paint a lot of walls, you know, um, aerosol, computer design, all that. So, I mean, I stay productive. That's my other half, the visual side. And you're being very humble about it, but you, I mean, you're on t-shirts, you're, you're down with... Yeah, I, I blow it up a little bit. I do a lot of work with Methods NYC, who you guys carry in your store, right? Um, I've done mad covers with Def Jux, Aesop, LP, you know, their whole roster, basically. Um, yeah, I build with mad people. Hopefully, I build with y'all soon. I was supposed to, but time got me, you know. No, believe me. It's a struggle. That music art thing is a struggle, so, you know. Now, we're going to set that up. And, of course, the album, literally, I mean, and I got to say this, very, no one's making any goddamn money. No one's selling anything. Your shit is flying out the store. Uh, I make money off that. You know? It's doing very well. Talk a little bit about the album that we speak of. Um, the, re the record is titled When Electric Night Falls, and um, my man Johnny Vegas did the production, which when I had given out that sampler to you, there was a joint that really hit off of it, heavy metal. My man did it with that Black Sabbath sample, you know? Um, but, yo, the record is out. I worked some time on it. It's in stores. The press is dope. I'm feeling good right now about it, you know what I mean? It's like I make the record. I don't really think about the after effect. And then recently, I'm like, oh, yeah, people got to critique it and review it. Right. And I got to worry about sales. And it's moving, man, you know? Right. I think um, I read CMJ last night. It jumped from 39 to 13 in a week, which is dope, you know what I mean? And they, like, called it out on their little weekly post and all that. Right. So I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say surprised, you know? I'm, I'm humbling myself right. over it, but I'm excited, man. Right. Give me more fire to do more music, you know? And I got to say, I mean, just as a general hip-hop fan, even if you're not a Bisque One fan per se, your overall sound... Uh, as far as, as, as the melodies, the music, your voice, it's a very sort of therapeutic, you have a therapeutic effect on people. Do you, you ever get that? Yeah, I, um, vocal, you know, this dude told me, I was with my man Nasty Ness the other night in L.A., and he was like, yo, you should do late night talk radio, you know what I mean? <laughs> and just not some, like, real quietness, but, um, yo, I try to make life music, man. I told you this before on the show, I, I don't like rapping about rapping. You know, like I do hip hop, I could six step backspin, I could paint burners all day, I could cut, juggle, you know what I mean? But I don't really want to rap about it. So the music gotta be that lifeline. That's how I feel, you know what I mean? I'm like tired of, you know, I spit the illest, I'm the killer, I'm gonna kill you, you know what I mean? It's like, all right, I'm not battling you, I'm trying to like feed people, get some words, you know, get some life in you. So I'm glad you say that, man. So I'm, I'm very, right now, I'm, rela I'm drooling, I'm, I'm catatonic. So, uh,. So, and I, also, you do your, of course, you're based out uh, in Queens, you do your thing, you, you what's your lifestyle like? I mean, it, uh, my man uh, D-Money, who, who does production uh, with you, tell, where is D-Money? Big up to murder in the dance hall. He, uh, he tells me about these crazy parties he goes to, people are walking over glass and swallowing fire breathing dragons what do you, you throw parties you do a little promotion thing too i was doing in brooklyn a spot called asterix which is like a, a super large loft they got a stage it's illegal you know what i mean and, and the parties are dope and it's brooklyn man it's it's hype out there you know people feel it and it's there's no security you bring your own drinks but it's house party to the next degree house party with a stage with an art gallery and that was my jump off for years i was doing that and um, recently I haven't, but you know, there's, there's like mad art cats in New York, so people get down, man, you know? And that's what it is, man. A true renaissance man, if you will. And I'm do I'm putting on my quiet storm voice now because I'm in that mode. Ladies and gentlemen, we're chilling undergroundhiphop.com. You know now, BISC1, y'all.